Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna do a cool little trick with the Echo Boy Junior, so stay tuned. What I'm gonna show you today is kind of neat. It's a cool little trick and if you're out there watching and you don't have the Echo Boy Junior or the big brother the echo boy you can actually just grab any old delay plugin that has some sort of organic or analog vibe to it if you use a normal delay plugin and you can hear the trails are kind of like modulated and the high end is kind of rolled off there's a good chance that you can use this trick with that plugin i'm gonna show you the trick with echo boy because that's the easiest way for me it's the least amount of controls but the setup is pretty much the same on any plugin. It's a really cool trick and what you need, you need a song. I have one here. This is a, like, you know, the backbone of a country song. Sounds like this. Drums, acoustic guitar, bass. I have the drums grouped. This is what the drums sound like. And on that group, I have a delay plugin. What? You're gonna feed drums into a delay plugin? Yeah. So if I think that the delay plugin is like a normal delay plugin, it's gonna do this. Kinda cool too. But the setting you have to do, you have to do this. The mix all the way up. Echo time set to time in milliseconds all the way down. And for this trick to work, you have to use a delay plugin that, that goes to 0, 0.0 milliseconds. The feedback all the way down. In this case, because it's Echo Boy Junior, you want the glide off. N not that I'm gonna change the feedback all the time, but just leave it off. And also important, in the mode, set it to normal. Normal means that it's not doing a widening trick like, you know, like, you know, pulling one of the sides up or down in milliseconds. So this is just what it sounds like going through one of the circuits. And the default circuits in the Echo Boy Junior is the studio tape setting. Let's listen to this. Okay, when I hit bypass, I can hear there's a sudden jump in the output. I'm gonna try to match it using both the input faders on my channel and just visually what's going on on the LEDs underneath the input and output on Echo Boy Junior. So now the input and output are are roughly hitting the same LEDs, but I can hear there's a different in sound without. With. To my ears, on my monitors, I can hear the high end actually a lit a little less high-end when I engage the plugin. But this is the secret knob. So this is the saturation knob. I don't know about you guys, but this is not one of my like go-to for delay when I'm just looking for a delay unit. But listen to what it, it does in this case. Okay, so now we're cooking with gas without. With. What we're doing here is we're using the saturation to bring down the peaks so the perceived vol volume can go up. While we're here, I'm just gonna show you the, uh, another trick. Soundtouch took the time to emulate all of the different circuits going from the uh, studio tape, we don't know what the studio tape is. It's normally studio tape um, is like the, <laughs> the highest grade of tape you could use. I know that the space echo is emulating going through a space echo, which has kind of its own sound. The cheap tape, I don't know, let's listen to it in, uh, in just a moment. Memory is probably a memory main, but it's, it's a, another delay unit. Ambient 
Ja, yeah, I don't know. Lad os tjekke spændt. Cheap tape. Sorry for that. We'll go straight to memory man. Last but not least, ambient. Okay, so you can hear there's a lot of different gems, hidden gems in there. For me, what I do, I've actually made a preset that is just called filter. And what I use it for is just these exact settings. The saturation all the way up, the output just slightly above uh, unity because there's a level difference. Feedback all the way off, echo time all the way off, uh, set to time, mix all the way up in the normal mode. Just to get that kind of, you know, the grid. Listen to it in the context of the song. Of course, now that I've compressed with saturation, the transients, a lot of the body and bloom of the drums, you know, get exaggerated. So you could actually use the low cut and high cut to roll off some of the bottom end. Or you could just refuse and just leave all the bottom end in there. When I bypass the plugin in the context of the song, you can hear that the high end of the hi hat actually goes away when I engage the plugin. So you may or may not want that in your productions. What if you don't have Echo Boy Jr? Mm. Thought you'd never ask. In Logic, there's a little plugin called Tape Delay. And what Tape Delay actually does, it's kind of the same thing. What you want to do is basically the same thing. If you want to do this in Logic, you have to use the uh, Tape Delay because as the name suggests, it's kind of tapey. The settings you have to use are these. Tempo Sync off, delay time 0.0, .0. feedback 0, wet all the way up. All of these has to be exactly zero. This is the drums going through the built-in tape plugin of Logic. Bypass. So something is happening, I can see on my peak meter on the channel, that is actually peaking a bit louder, so perhaps I have to gain it down. But something else is happening. This is happening. So if you're listening on headphones, listen for the snare. Listen how the snare just, when it's not engaged, this plugin, how it kind of leaps out and punches you in the face. When I engage it, it kind of takes a step back and sits nicely with the rest of the drums. Again, let's check our peak meters on the channel without the plugin engaged. Minus 6.7 with the plugin engaged. Minus 6.8. But if you listen to it without it, What the saturation, um, the clip threshold, the character, what it does in this plugin, it brings down the transient so you can push up the body of the sound. And this is the exact same thing as we did with, with Echo Boy Jr. So if I bring that up, we can A, B the two plugins. Let's go from Echo Boy. to tape delay. And besides the fact that one is, I don't know, perceived louder than the other, 
there isn't really that much of a difference. So if you're stuck at home without Echo Boy or Echo Boy Junior, or insert whatever delay, analog kind of delay plugin you have, you can for sure use that instead of Echo Boy Junior. Let's use them both. Without. What you've heard today is basically just my take on how to use one, just one of the available different kind of filters that Echo Boy has to offer. The studio tape, the plexi, the space tape, the, sorry, the cheap tape, the memory man, all of those circuits, they give a certain sound. That's going to be hard to, to recreate in Logic using the tape delay plugin. But if you just want straight up limiting of the transients of a drum or an acoustic guitar, you can absolutely use the tape plugin, no problem at all. Just to be an asshole about it, I'm gonna transfer what I originally had on the drum bus and I'm gonna put it over the entire song just to see what happens. You know what? I'm I'm not hating what it's doing. Guys, take care and thanks for watching.